So let's take a look at our add method for our red black tree. First of all, we're going to have a public method, public void add k key and v value. Okay? And this is the method that we're going to allow people to use to add stuff to our tree. Of course, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a node, kv object, which is going to be a new node, kv, and we're going to pass in the key and the value. Okay, now we've stored our key and value for our, that we've been given. What's the very, very first thing we need to do when we add something to a data structure? We need to look and see, is that data structure empty? In our case, if root is equal to null, we're going to set root equal to this new node, we're going to increment our size counter, and we're done. Root is equal to node. Remember, one of the rules of the red-black tree is that the, no, the root node is always black. So we set root.black equal to true. We increment our size counter, and we're out of there. Okay? If root is not null, we need to figure out in our tree where we're going to add the node. So we're going to come in, and we're going to say, are we bigger than or smaller than the root value? Are we bigger than or smaller than the next value down? Are we bigger than and smaller than the next value down? And depending on the answer, we'll add our node in the correct place. The best way to do that, of course, is to have a recursive method, because we don't know how big the tree is. And so we can pass in the new node that we're going to add, and we're going to pass in a node that we're going to start at, in this case, the root node, but then as we recurse through the tree, we'll pass the children in appropriately. So we're going to call here add, and we're going to pass in root, and we're going to pass in our new node. And then if that happens, we're going to increment size, and that's our public add method. So what about our private method that's going to take a node kv, and that's our current node, and so I'm going to call that parent, because eventually that will end up being the parent of the node that we're adding, and it's going to take a, a node kv that I'm going to call new node, because that's the node that we've just created, and we want to add to the tree. So the first thing we need to ask is, is the thing that we're adding bigger or smaller than the node that we're at? Is the thing that we're adding bigger or smaller than the node that we're at? And so we're going to use our friend comparable here. So if comparable, and we're only comparing keys, okay? When we look at data structures where we have the key and the value, we only compare the key. We don't care about the value. So we're going to say if comparable k, and we're going to compare node, a uh, new node, dot key, dot compare to parent dot key. So we've compared our two nodes. And if that is greater than zero, then we're going to add our object to the right. If our new node.key is bigger than our parent key, then this will return greater than zero, and so we add to the, to the right. So what happens if we're at this node, and we try and add something to the right? The right's null, so if we just go down there, we're going to get a null pointer exception, but in fact, what we want to do, if we're adding to this node, 
is we want to make its right child our new node. So if parent.write is equal to null, now we're going to make parent.write point to our new node. So parent.write is equal to new node. We also need to remember to set our new node pointer to the parent. So we can say new node dot parent equals parent. So we've set one pointer from the parent to the new node, and we've set another pointer from the new node to the parent. If we're on the right-hand side, we're not a left child. We're on the right. So we can set new node dot is left child equal to false. In fact, new node dot is left child starts off as false because in our node class, we set left child to false. But it's a good idea to put that there because it reminds you you've got that is left child boolean and we know for sure that we've set it correctly. Because in our new node class, it doesn't matter if we set it true or false now that we've set it here. That's it. If parent.write is null, we add the node, we set its parent pointer back, and we set the fact that it's a left child, we set that to false. If parent.write is not null, that means there's a node there, so we're maybe here at the root node, or one of these other nodes where we need to go down. And so we're just going to return, return, add parent dot write new node. And that's where we're, we're recursing through our tree. We're going to the right. And maybe next time, depending on the result of comparable, we'll go to the left, maybe we'll go to the right, or maybe we'll add it. And so that's the end of manipulating the right-hand side. Manipulating the left-hand side is exactly the same. So we need to know if the left child is null. And notice we've got a return here. Um, and if we put a return here, we don't need an else statement. Right? Because we return, we return, we're done. So we can just say if parent.left is equal to null, parent.left is equal to new node, we again need to set our new node.parent, new node.parent is equal to parent, and we need to set our is left child. In this case, we are the left child. So new node dot is left child is equal to true because we are the left child and we're, we're done. So if parent dot left is not null and we have, to add it, have, we have to add it to the left side, we're just going to return add parent dot left new node. So we've added our nodes to our tree but remember, this is a balance tree, okay? And it's a red-black tree. And so after we've added the nodes, we need to recurse through the tree and make sure that we haven't violated any of the rules of the red-black tree. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add a check color method. And our check color method is going to take the node that we've just added as its parameter. The check color method is responsible for making sure that none of the rules are violated, that there are no two adjacent reds, that the same number of blacks, and so on and so on. Okay? And that's the last thing that we need to do in our red-black tree. I also want you to remember that here we've added, we've compared new node, to parent, and it's important to make sure that you've got the, your new node and your parent and that you're greater than are the right way around. 
Otherwise, your tree will be flipped, and you have to have it consistent in all of your methods. Also notice that this is a greater than, and if you're manipulating uh, situations where you have duplicates in your tree, you might want this to be a greater than or equals to sign. That depends on how you want to handle duplicates.